It is way too early for a Sunday, but I uh, went with Grant's for his soccer game, but it was running a little late. So I actually just Googled coffee place, and there's this coffee place, Sputnik Coffee, right over here at 51st and Hoyne in Chicago, Illinois. Um, got a cheap cup of coffee and a breakfast bar, which was homemade, all for five bucks. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm gonna hop back in the car and get on over to the field. It is gonna be a hot one for, for Chicago Sanders. It's supposed to be over 90. It's 7.30 in the morning, I'm already sweating. So it should be a good day, but $1.80 for a cup of coffee. Can't get that many places. This is roasted. Literally, they showed me the roaster. So I'll let you know how it is. I haven't tried it yet, but it's an adventurous morning for me. Game's over, look. He scored, and he won. We're getting Starbucks for Christina because she gave me that like dr like drop that hint. She texted me and was like, so did you make coffee or like were you thinking about maybe stopping on a coffee on the way home, AKA? Got me Starbucks. Yeah. So we're at the old Starbucks that Sarah and I used to walk past. This is a neighborhood called Beverly in the south side of Chicago with the most beautiful houses. This is like our celebration is this community. Just like that, we got the Starbucks. Hopefully Christina's happy. Did you tell her we're getting it? No. Grant, I know you're the one who played soccer, but I'm the one who needs to take a shower. Here's the beginnings of this setup. We got lawn chairs, table, they're striping up the field. Let me show you this corner here. There's Sarah. She hasn't been in the vlog yet. It's just been me and Grant all morning. Yep, I edited, I got some ready for the day. But look at this, right there, Ryan's Corner. Sarah's maiden name is Ryan, and that's named after her dad, James Ryan. And there's Jenna, and she brought Ozzy, her doggy. She's in her baseball that, uniform. See, she's in her, she's in gym blue. Mm -hmm. She's in granddad blue. Today's vlog was a little crazy, a little, a little, a little different, a little shorter. But what? I think we have a cool montage of the kickball game. Yeah, which is a lot of fun. We ate like it was Thanksgiving. Literally, I almost got sick. Literally, I think everybody almost on top of the heat. But I think like everybody ate so much that they thought they were gonna get sick. Yeah, and like we almost didn't play a kickball game. One because of how much food we ate. But two, it was almost a hundred degrees. But it didn't feel like that. It didn't feel like the heat of Florida, I feel, because of the humidity. It was like nothing yeah, here. Yeah, it felt like the beating sun. Almost. Right, so like if we were in shade, you was pretty fine. Yeah. But you can't do that while you're playing kickball. But it was 78 in Florida today. Like yeah. That. <laughs> um, but then when we got home, we just needed to relax. And then um, there was more things going on with Sarah's grandma that we were trying to get worked out. So we kind of just hung out the rest of the night chit chat and everything um it's not super late we need to go to bed but i also wanted to point out that i want to put the link up here or here or somewhere there of this same spot from our vlogmas <laughs> in 2016 because we sat on this same couch talking about how much fun it was to do vlogmas which was daily vlogging from thanksgiving to christmas yeah and it was the first attempt that sarah and i ever did it like daily vlogging and it was 2016 we we're so busy if you watch those if you 
first of all, shout out down below if you actually watched that vlogmas yeah, like from like, our old channel. Yeah. Um, but we did so much in downtown Chicago I and wore worked. so much makeup. Like it's like so funny to like see like the different lifestyles because it was like the dead of winter. Mm -hmm. um, Look at this hair. Yeah. I also wanted to say today was, um, or this weekend the kickball game was in honor of my dad's birthday, mm -hmm. um, which was yesterday, which I realized we never like said in the vlog because we were just busy enjoying the day. Mm -hmm. um, but Tyler's birthday was today, the 27th. So put a um, comment down below, happy birthday, Tyler. Yeah, we love Tyler. He's here. He's here. Literally, he um, drove past like the corner, like, uh, like a block down the street we yesterday. Yeah. But it's hard. It's hard. He's facing the same struggles of not having a car. Um, and visiting family. And visiting family. So it's like, why would he's, we travel yeah. to Chicago and hang out with each other when we're in Chicago to visit our families? Yeah. But, um, but it is nice knowing he's One of these close. times we'll, we'll meet up and we'll we'll go to a Cubs game or something. Yeah. But I wanted to point out, we'll put the last video of that vlog mess where we talk about how much fun it was to do daily vlogging and like the benefits that we saw of it. Um, and there's a cool montage, so go click the link and go to at least like halfway through it where there's a montage. And it's my yeah. favorite montage that I think we've ever done. Um, it's Christmassy and it, it's Christmassy, fun. it's folly, and it's beautiful. And it's like that's what opened my eyes to like we hadn't decided we were moving here yet, but we thought about it. But I was like, we could daily vlog. Like, there's a cool aspect to daily vlogging about capturing your life mm -hmm. every single day, and then it's finding glorified that, home videos, right? That's and finding that value and happiness in every single day. Yeah, so I want you to go look, check out that video because where we are right now is where we recorded that, that yeah. video, and I think that that's the the most important thing we've even learned like since then even more so since we moved is just making every day worth writing in your diary, diary write, or recording in your vlog yeah your blog calling even your parents or your best friend about a photo um it just makes your life so fulfilling mm -hmm. even if it means going to your local jewel and getting port wine cheese and nice crackers and just enjoying your favorite movie with some cheese and crackers. Jewel is a, a grocery store. Your Publix, your Jewel, Chicago, your Grand yeah. Bazaar, your Walmart, Walmart your Walgreens. Mariano's. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.